It features craft beer on tap in a unique self-service system. And this morning, they're hosting a kegs and eggs charity event. Sounds pretty cool. Larry Sherman, he's live to tell us what's on tap <laughs> at a unique beer hall down in Franklin. Good morning, Sherman. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're having a little beer for breakfast. Actually, it's a good thing today that we're doing. So we are live inside Old Town Beer Hall and Growler Company in Franklin, Johnson County, right here on Court Street. Beautiful square, actually right across the street from the square. This place opened in 2019, late 2019, and then, of course, 2020. So we're trying to get their legs and get their feet off the ground because this is a cool place. I mentioned before the break, it's the largest self Poor, self poor beer hall in the state. And by largest, we mean what? About 40 different beers, Doug? 40. So this is Doug Rude. He and his uh, fiance and his brother own and combination own and run this place. And again, I mentioned open in 2019. So 40? 40, 40, 40 10 cocktails and five wines. Yeah, they have wine and cocktails, which we're going to get to later. But the beers we're looking at, you said. Uh, a lot of Indiana, a lot of uh, local, nearby uh, beers, right? Yes, sir. And one of the things you mentioned to me was that you'd like to have beers that are unique. That's true. We have an ability to carry beers that aren't often found elsewhere. So we like to keep our wall unique. We rotate out our beers frequently. So I see. And so how does this... Walk me through how this works, the system works. First of all, you get one of these, right? That's right. You come in and we'll verify your ID like any other okay. alcohol establishment and we'll issue you this RFID bracelet and this is how you operate the taps. So do I give you what, 20 bucks, 10 bucks, however? We can open a tab with a credit card or you can pay cash, either, okay. either way. Either way, so once I have that, and I'm, I'm free to go wherever I want to You've, get whatever I want. Yes, sir. You find any tap in the building that you're interested in. And it's by the ounce, correct? There's a price per ounce. If you want more information about the product, you just touch the screen. Oh. And it will tell you a little more. And okay, that's cool. When you're ready to pour, you touch your bracelet. So that's okay. And then you're able oh, to... Oh, wait. So this t this has your name. That's right. And that says how much money you have left over, I guess. That's right. And you're pouring by the ounce. So if I do... So I come over here and I do this. Oh, here I am. And then you're ready to go. And then I'm going to go... Let's see. Well, it'll time out on you if you... Uh, oh, did I mess up? You did. You have to do it again. It times oh. out to, to prevent anyone other than you from... Oh, uh, so they can't steal my money. That's right. Or my beer. I see. I'm not really good at pouring beer, uh, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> that's really bad. <laughs> but that's really cool. Takes practice. It's a very cool concept. So they're open every day except Monday. And walk with me over here. They usually open about 4 or 5 p.m., right? Doug? Yes. So today they have this happening right here. A little red wagon food truck is here. Uh, they're doing a kegs and eggs event from now until 1 p.m. And what's really cool about this is some pancakes and sausage on the menu, some quiches. What's cool about this, the proceeds today uh, will go to Boys and Girls Club of Johnson County. So there's a, a fundraising event, there's self-pour. Oh wait, where's my beer? Kegs, <laughs> kegs and eggs right here. Cheers at Old Town, uh, Old Town Beer Hall and Growler Company. And coming up, we mentioned they have wine on tap, and they have cocktails. <laughs> Ten cocktails on Ten. tap as well. It's kind of like this morning hey. show. Uh -huh. yeah. Having beer in the morning? <laughs> yeah, right?